Logan, I think, is the person to direct this at mostly. Let's spend a bit of time talking about the hardware. You know, so explain for my listeners what the latest in actually, you know, I'm not I'm not certain that this is made for, for Logan necessarily, but um, you know, explain what's up with the latest in GPUs from NVIDIA, as well as the different kinds of chips that are required to make something like a Pro Max PC be such a success for AI developers. Yeah, so I'll I'll take part of it. I mean, I know Sama will probably provide a lot more detail than I will and probably better detail, but I think when it comes to, you know, Dell Pro Max, you know, acceleration by Blackwell, right? The card is at the core of it and really any data science workflow, the acceleration, depending on what library is, pandas or polars or whatever, it's really about how much can you load on the GPU? How quickly does that GPU work? And ultimately, how quickly can you run that workflow? Now, there's some surrounding things around that, that, I mean, GPU is core to it. But there's other things within Dell Pro Max that, you know, also add to the experience and add to the ability to accelerate a workflow. I mean, our T2 tower, which is even though it was announced last week, it launched today. I mean, people probably won't find this very interesting, but the size of that tower increased a little bit with not necessarily increasing the footprint that much. So you can add in, for example, more hard drives for data storage. You can add in extra cards if you want to run multiple monitors, things like that. And doing a few other things, being able to run on different applications, whether it's data science or not, being able to run kind of the new Intel processors at kind of a 250 watt sustained workload, which is very unique in the industry because that really wasn't a, the case before. So, you know, all of this has really been personally built when like you take the word max for Dell Pro Max, it means taking everything legitimately to the max, right? Like how how how, how far can we push this thing? And that that's really Dell Pro Max in a nutshell. Very cool. So let's talk a bit more about the GPUs in particular. You know, I kind of, I get the the importance there, of course, of having CPUs. It sounds like ones there that are taking more power than ever before. And so you have, you know, power requirements in this Pro Max line. Let's talk about the GPUs specifically. What is the difference between Blackwell and predecessor GPUs? Why is having a Blackwell GPU from NVIDIA more helpful to someone who's training or deploying AI models than um, GPU predecessors. I can I can start sure. Logan and then. <laughs> well, you, uh, I'm pretty sure I'll miss a bunch of things. So oh, you'll be fine. You'll do great. <laughs> you're, you're great, Salma. Go ahead, and then I'll, I'll add on. I'll add on. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. So I think one of the things uh, we were talk when we were talking to a lot of our data scientists uh, in house within our customer base as well. We soon realized in the last few years, there was a lot of um, development, AI development happening, you know, in the cloud, in the data center. Uh, But AI is now becoming mainstream, right? Everybody is trying to now fine tune a model. Um, Logan and I are not technical people. We are in in the product marketing. Or guess what? We are fine tuning our own models nowadays. We are running these models locally as well. And we soon realized that the systems we are using, you still need a little bit more horsepower in your system where you have the ability to actually have these data sets running locally, have these models running locally, have the ability to you know, fine tune, run maybe a, a small drag model just for yourself and things like that. Um, I remember talking to a data scientist last year during summer, and he was talking about any time that he is trying to do a job, they actually have to, they had a Slack channel, he had to put his name down and he had to wait in line to get an instance where he could actually run his data set. So we we recognize the need where now a lot of enterprise customers are struggling to get, you know, a lot more horsepower and it's not possible to give away cloud and data center just for learning, just for experimentation. And it's, it's interesting how AI is still evolving, right? Almost every day there is a new model you want to try, there is a new technique you want to try. So you need to have that local sandbox and experience where you can just do your learning, your experimentation. If I am a developer who's building an AI-based application, I probably want to continue doing all my testing because getting a data center resource is becoming more and more scarce. So that was a thought process uh, with the uh, NVIDIA RTX Pro Blackwell GPUs. Um, and then we've got a full lineup in desktop uh, and, and laptop format for you. But the biggest feature for me has been that we've doubled the GPU memory. So we've gone from 48 gigs to 96 gigs per GPU. Um, you can actually have four of those um, in one workstation as well. So that's that's a lot of memory right at your desktop wow. where you're currently doing any running any kind of model locally, fine tuning that model, 
um, any kind of inference application that you want to run, you've got a lot of power right there within those GPUs itself, along, yeah. with, along with our usual, more and more of our uh, advancements we make with the GPU. But that massive memory size to actually run these things locally has been a game changer.